Yeah, so like Cameron said, my background is in branding and brand design. So I'm gonna approach design ethics from a brand point of view and how we think about that at Omaze. Like Cameron said, Omaze, we are basically a platform to raise money for charity and causes. And we do that with once in a lifetime experiences like Ryan and Tank with Arnold Schwarzenegger, going to date with George Clooney, being in the next Star Wars film. All these things to raise a lot of money and bring attention to great causes and charities. Um, I have Arnold up here because I'm going to use him as an example for exactly what we do. We um, have these great experiences and we use the entertainment and the celebrity channels that they have to promote these great causes. And I'm going to show you exactly one of the uh, videos right here real quickly. I'm going to hit it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm a hard work, laboring and sleeping away. Finally, I've achieved my lifelong dream. And it is not to do Terminator or to do Conan the Barbarian or anything like that. Not at all. But to finally possess my own f***ing <laughs> I'm going to crush my own record. I'm 66 years old and I saved every one of my birthday cakes. <laughs> crush them. It was fun to a step on, right? Think about stepping on into the tank. I'm going to crush a car for a million dollar baby because it makes me cry. I don't cry. I really didn't just pass out. I'm inviting you personally to Los Angeles to crush things in my tank with me. All you have to do is go on allmaze.com slash auto. Just go and pop up that button, boom. Now you can benefit the after school all stars. So what are you waiting for? Come to Los Angeles. Let's go around and crush things with that tank. <laughs> So there you can see the winner. This is the uh, the gentleman who won the experience, and the money was raised to benefit after school all stars. I chose to show that video because it really encompasses a lot of who we want to be at Omaze and what we want to represent in the ch uh, cause and charity space. Um, there are a few things though we do have to balance when we're in that space. As a brand guy, I want to put out Omaze everywhere and I have to be with everyone on my team and we have to really show a lot of restraint in how we balance who we are and not taking away too much attention from these great uh, causes and experiences and putting those first and foremost so we can get that kind of, that engagement and get people excited. So if you look at these, these are just a series of images we use to promote these events. These, uh, you'll see uh, Josh Hutcherson here in the middle and John Stewart and all these celebrities that have all teamed up with us to do different experiences. But you don't see Omaze anywhere on there. And right now we're at a place where we're just starting up and we don't want to cloud that space. As much as we'd like to, we don't think it's necessary at this point in time to really be out in the foreground. Eventually we'd like to be in this space where we are leading the conversation of where, where these celebrities are living in the universe of Spotify, in the ecosystem of Google Play, where Omaze is that champion for using great cause content and being, being the leader really in creating the ecosystem. So in order for us to do what we want to do in really our ethics, we basically build everything on three principles and we design uh, just really in, the, in that realm of these three principles. The first one is entertain first, educate second. We just really want to get people excited. We want to get that visceral reaction, that emotion, those laughs from Arnold. We think humor is a great way to bridge a lot of shortcuts and a lot of gaps because you can really cut to the great human emotion and get people talking about these causes and talking about these charities. So if you look here, this is a shot, uh, just a, an excerpt of our screen uh, homepage, and this is an experience we did with Avicii. And you look at, you're just immersed in this world rather than pandering to what's really wrong in things. While there are very, very serious issues that we're trying to help, we feel like 
being excited about them and moving them in a positive direction is the best way to do that. Our second is focusing on empowerment. And really, that's kind of our, maybe our biggest thing that we believe in. We want to talk about what great things are coming out of these causes, where people are excited and what, what is happening that's a great thing, not just focusing and dwelling on things that are, uh, that are gonna make people un, un, uncomfortable. You look here, you have the old uh, Christian Children's Fund kind of commercials we've all seen from the 80s. They're very sad and they're very guilty and you're ridden and you're not feeling in a good place and you're not comfortable. But this is a, a shot from a movie called Girl Rising that addresses women's issues and for young girls and how to break norms. And this is where we want to be. This is the conversation we want to be having. People are excited. We want people to talk about it. And that just has exponentially greater benefits, especially no matter what field you're in. Just being on the positive side of things is just going to help you out immensely. And the third thing is um, a clear call to action. You saw that in the end of the Arnold video, we had the Omaze, obviously, but it's him getting him to talk about after school all stars, getting whoever the celebrity partner is to really emphasize what it is we're trying to do here, what it is we're trying to be, who it is we're trying to be. And I guess for me, my uh, really my clear call to action at the end of this is I just want, if there's anything to take away, is this is just know what you're believing in, know what you're designing for. Those are our three principles, that's what we try and do in everything we design for. Because designing for blogs and all that stuff, it, it, it's fun and it looks cool and designing for designers, and that's, it's not as fun. You don't feel as good until you're actually doing something and getting people to believe in something. So whatever you have to sacrifice of your own time, of your own ideas to really like use your skills and use your talent to impact change, that's what feels good. And just know who you are and know what you're doing for. And that's it. Thank you.